Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out what I got in this time. Uh, quite a bit, considering it's de December, January. Those are pretty much dead months, usually. But I always have my wish list uh, going, so... Uh, first up is American Nightmare. Um, got this one pretty cheap. Forget I'd take a chance on it. Uh, familiar with some of the actors in here, and, but that's about it. So, American Nightmare. Uh, Animal Among Us. Uh, looked interesting. Again, another blind buy. Automation. I really like this one. Uh, I like that it used a lot of practical effects. I like the design on the robot. It was a lot of fun. I like this one. And I'm, I've been having good luck with uh, Dread Central and what they do. Epic Pictures release releases. So, Automation. Uh, old documentary I've been wanting to pick up for quite a while. Finally off the wish list. I uh, a lot of not so positive reviews about this particular documentary, but I still had to have it. Uh, Autopsy of the Dead. Got it for pretty cheap. Uh, one of those Netflix originals, The Babysitter. I dug this one. This was pretty cool. This is sort of a weird release. Um, for rental purposes only. It's like a red box <laughs> edition. Like I'm not supposed to have this or something, you know. Um, so I don't think this is like a legit, well, an official official release. I think it's one of those that uh, it's one of those not for sale editions but I got a hold of a copy just stumbled upon it on eBay so the babysitter uh, there ends up being a, a, a nicer legit release I'll, I'll spring for it because I really like this one uh, another blind buy basement jack looked to be kind of gory uh, it's been on my wish list for quite some time and finally grabbed a copy for cheap Uh, this one, to be honest, is kind of boring. I haven't seen this one in a while, but uh, not as cool as what the cover art would suggest. Really slow, kind of talky. Um, but I've always liked it because it just has some uh, unintentional funny moments in it for me. So I need to revisit this one. So another one from Severn. Pretty cool. Upgrade. And then I get weak over my Bigfoot movies. Um, sometimes this one I couldn't help myself. The Big F. Hopefully I dig it. I'm kind of addicted to the wild eye raw and extreme line. So, so the big F. We'll see. Finally grabbing a copy of Blonde Death uh, from Bleeding Skull Video. They've had this out for quite some time. A really low, low, low budget of version of Natural Born, Natural Born Killers, I guess. Sort of like that. Um, can't wait to check it out. It looks like a lot of fun. This one I enjoyed. I loved um, this little low-budget Italian horror movie here, Blood Bags. Love the scenery, the mansion, uh, the look of the killer I thought was really cool, some good practical effects. I dug it. It reminded me of the late 80s, sort of early 90s uh, movies of this subgenre here. So I really liked it. I'm glad I took a chance on it. So Blood Bags. Pretty cool to finally I have this off my uh, wish list. So Blood on Satan's Claw. One of those movies I honestly didn't think I'd ever get and have to eventually import. Um, came close a couple times, but held out. Uh, so I hear it's just a masterpiece of a movie. I've never seen it before. Uh, that's probably really criminal of me, but... I'm looking forward to finally watching it. So I, I hear nothing but good things about this movie. So Blood on Satan's Claw. One Another one I took a chance on I really dug, and that's Blood Prism. And um, I always give them an extra star as far as rating goes if they go the extra mile with cover art as well. I like this one. It tries to be sort of original. It kind of is a little bit, but I had a lot of fun with it. So Blood Prism. Another one that I'm surprised I never heard of, and I really enjoyed this one, Botched. Um, I, I, I'm so picky with the horror comedies, but this one this one was great. I liked it, and a lot of good practical effects, some good gory moments. And then the times when it was trying to be funny, for me it was funny, so that's, that's good. I like this movie. Got it for pretty cheap, too. Botched. And then the DVD has been long out of print, and it's been on my wish list for way too long. I never had that. 
I never had this movie and I've never seen it before. I'm looking forward to watching this for the first time. The Candy Snatchers. So, pretty cool. I say it like that, so passionate, because I've been wanting this movie forever. So, but yeah, I can't wait to check this out. So, cool. Cannibal. Um, again, horror movie centered around cannibalism, so I couldn't help myself. And I, kinda, I like to pay attention to what Bayview, rele Bayview releases every now and then. So, um, usually it's like Bayview in conjunction with Retro Media. This is just coming from them, I guess. Uh, there's other companies credited by it. Shoreline Entertainment. I don't know if it's any good. I haven't got around to watching it yet. Sorry, guys. But uh, it seemed interesting. So, Cannibal. Upgrade. The Card Player. Uh, I like this movie. I've always liked it. Uh, so, I had to upgrade. So, pretty cool. I love the new uh, commissioned art. That's very lovely. And then I got lucky on eBay. Uh regretted being on the fence about going after this movie and was able to find a nice four disc edition put out by Masker Video sometime back a while back and um mixed reviews but I have some of the, some of this director's movies in my collection and uh why not take a chance on this one so the cemetery more documentaries uh, trying to complete this I have a few documentaries by the same company and they always release them in these sort of slim cardboard uh, cases it, it's it's fine it's unique so I kind of dig that the complete Bob Wilkins creature features so pretty cool design set up showing you their other releases um, I have the horror themed ones already and I just grabbed another one uh, but pretty cool I like it you get these pretty at a reasonable price been out for a while. I'm just finally grabbing them copies. So pretty cool. Can't wait to check that out. Um, and then one I ordered through Black Flag uh, Pictures, Canadian, uh, well, independent Canadian company. Um, I've ordered from them before and uh, finally get around to grabbing a copy of this. It's uh, sort of like Killdozer, but not as great as Killdozer. And I wasn't expecting it to be on the level of Killdozer, but it has its moments, and uh, I like what it tries to do. And I, I was entertained by it, so Crawler, not bad. The Dating Game Killer, uh, a big fan of the ID channel. I love the ID channel and all those forensics, mystery cases, and all that true stuff, true story stuff. Dateline, all that good stuff. So this was a I had to grab this. So and I like my serial themed killer movies. Who doesn't? I think for most of you horror fanatics out there. But yep, the dating game killer. Uh, finally grabbing a copy of Dead Hooker in a trunk. Uh, this Blu-ray was kind of hard to get a hold of. Um, it's been released a few times on Blu-ray. I grabbed the horror pack edition. Another eBay purchase. One of the early uh, Saska sister movies that I've yet to see. So, mixed reviews on this one, but I, I can't wait to check it out. I've been wanting to watch that one for a while. And then I have yet to watch the sequel, So, but here's part three of Death Score at Service, uh, simply called Taste Me. Um, that had me laughing when I read that. So, another blind buy. So, I guess I'm starting to collect this as a franchise now, a trilogy at the moment. And then I finally grabbed these. Been wanting to check these out. Yeah, they, these are pretty brutal. At least the first one I heard gets some good things. Death Tube. Uh, Death Tube Part 2. Sort of like the torture stuff. Saw, saw kind of movies. Hostel, that kind of thing. From what I've read. So I think I'll get some enjoyment just for if I want to just watch mindless gore. Uh, Deep XXX Web just got this in. Another pre order through Unearthed Films. Heard a lot of good things. So, again, a blind buy. Sort of. Devil's Do. Been on the fence about this one for a while. I, I, I enjoyed it. I like the practical effects in it. I like the way the baby looked. And uh, just a good little rated R popcorn horror movie. Got it for pretty cheap, too. And then I found this one to be unique. I like this one, Door in the Woods. I thought this was really good. I knew I would like it. 
Um, so I wasn't really on the fence about this one. I knew I'd enjoy it, and I did, thankfully. So another one coming from Wild Eye. Burn on demand. Just to let you guys know when you see that sort of DVD symbol right there, you know what you're getting. So, but I I'm glad to have a copy. I liked it. All right, next up, another through Unearth Films, uh, Famine. One of the earlier, uh, or is this one of the later Ryan Nichols? I think it's an early one, right? Uh, I need to, I don't remember, but another Ryan Nicholson uh, movie. Uh, rest in peace to Ryan Nicholson. Um, but uh, I've been wanting to check this out. So uh, I've heard not so good things, uh, but that the gore is really good. So uh, Of course, you can expect that through his movies. But again, rest in peace to Ryan Nicholson. That's... That is tragic. All right, moving on to the next stack. Another uh, fat pack documentary I've been wanting to get. I got this off of e again eBay hunt on some of these older uh, DVDs. You know these older editions. Got this one in really good condition, thankfully, because I hate it when cases like these are broken because they're really hard to, or just not hard, but just a pain in the ass to replace. But thankfully, these are in mint condition. So each uh, is it three or four discs? I think it's three discs. Yeah, it's three discs set. Nice fat pack documentary, the Fear Makers Collection. So finally off the wish list. Been wanting this for a while. Got it for dirt cheap, thankfully. Surprisingly. All right, next up is the Fly Collection. First time for me having all these movies. I've only had the remake, the sequel to the remake, and the original Fly. I've never had the sequels to the original Fly, so those will be first time watches for me i haven't seen them either so i've heard not so great things especially from curse but i love this box set this is beautiful i love the new newly commissioned artwork it just has an overall nice color and, and colors and flow to it so that's how i like my box sets and i'm sure pretty much 99.9% .9 of you guys uh, love your box sets to be packaged like this as well so pretty cool I, that was a no-brainer i had to Definitely had to have that on pre-order, for sure. Gags the Clown. Uh, this one was pretty cool. I, I dug I dug it for the most part. I like the balloons popping with the that, that effect. So That's a really nice addition, too. So, I forget who released this, because this is really is a doppelganger. Doppelganger releasings. I don't think I have too many of those. I think I have a few, but Gags the Clown. No regrets. Glad to have that on the shelf. Another oldie, um, finally off the wish list, The Hollow. Another movie I've been wanting to, I, I, wanted, I did want to get this one uh, and watch it through uh, during October, but just didn't get around to picking, uh, picking up a copy. But another one I got for pretty cheap. I haven't seen that in a long time. This one I rented because I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. I liked quite a few of his movies, especially the ones that he even produced or directed, and I enjoyed this one. Um, it surprised me with how gory it could get it, it got so um but horns really cool funny but very dramatic kind of story um but i dug it pretty cool horns yeah after i rented it and watched it i was like okay i gotta grab a copy and then another blind buy i had a bloody good time at house harker i don't know i've read some good reviews but uh i'm a Take a chance on it again, another Bay, Bay View Entertainment release. Um, again, through Shoreline Entertainment. I don't know. Uh, again, collecting my Kaiju monster theme movies. Um, Kaiju Mono, if I'm saying that right. Mono. Looks to be hilarious. I read that it's sort of a comedy take on the kaiju movies i have a few of those in my collection already so grab this one for pretty cheap uh low this one was okay uh mainly the cover art pulled me in so i ordered a copy and it, it was really cheap too through i haven't ordered anything through brink vision in probably a few years now um But I did like the short. What's the short? I almost forgot about that. Victorian Undead. That was a cool little zone. I wish that was a feature length. Um, the Victorian Undead. That's pretty cool. Just for that alone, it's worth getting this uh, movie. So, 
that's low. And then my battery's getting low on this camera, so I'm probably going to have to stop it. It's already giving me a warning. Uh, I got Meat Hook Massacre, the first one, through Scream Time. What is this? Yeah, Scream Time Films. I have a few of these uh, Scream Time Films movies. So, Meat House Massacre. Uh, Meat House Massacre Part 2. You know what you're pretty much getting into when you buy these movies. I just end up for the gore and the mindless slasher slasher themed goings on uh, Meat House Massacre Part 3 so I got the trilogy and I'll probably be pumping out more of them it'll probably be like another camp blood kind of deal so that's Meat Massacre Part 1 through 3 got those through Amazon Edgar Allan Poe's uh, Murders in the Rue Morgue upgrade another classic you gotta have through Screen Factory. And then because it being December, I was cr craving some Christmas themed horror movies. So Once Upon a Time at Christmas. This was actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know how I missed it the first time, but um, this movie's been out for for a while now. Um, well, not too long. 2017. So, But I had a lot of fun with this one. This is one of the better indie uh, Christmas themed horrors out there recently so once upon a time at christmas pretty cool glad to have that and then finally because i never had a copy but i've always liked this movie the peanut butter solution so very morbid uh, children's themed i could call it a horror film for sure but i'm definitely excited about the whole severing kids thing that's cool that's a great idea so kudos to them i love the new logo there that's uh that, that makes me laugh so that's a great idea. Awesome to finally have this movie. And then, yes, I it's my favorite franchise, so of course they have me in the headlock every time. So the Phantasm Collection. I am definitely keeping my um, other Blu-ray box set because I like that box set still, and uh, we'll get some use out of that as well, but... Had to spring for this, obviously, for the upgrades and uh, different special features, that kind of thing. So, and it came with a nifty little sphere. I have it. I got that for this uh, the the media room. I've got uh, some other spheres in my collectibles room that I'll show you guys once that gets straightened out a bit more. But I I decided to display mine over there. The box I don't know what to yet to do with. That just kind of sits there for now uh, with some movies I need to go through and see what all I want to keep and what I want to get rid of but yep pretty cool no I had to I had to get this so just for the new uh, Phantasm 2 being upgraded to that and yep love my Phantasm so they, they, they'll they always have me with that franchise um, Phantom of the Opera this is one I never had uh, one of those Argento movies I never got around to picking up on DVD and I honestly don't know if I've ever seen this before. I don't think I have. So, even has his daughter in it. And what's his name? It's Julian Sands. Um, I always think of him as the warlock, warlock guy in warlock movies. So, Phantom of the Opera. I've heard not so good things about that one, but, you know, well, I'm a bit of a collector, so I like my Argento. So, I, had to, I still had to order a copy. Plank Face, another one of those horror pack exclusive indie horrors that I'm getting around to grabbing a copy of. I have yet to watch this. Looks cool. Don't know what to expect, so Plank Face. And Portals. I like my sort of weird sci-fi themed horrors and thrillers, so this looked interesting to me. And I like all those movies mentioned up top. Took a while for me to warm up to this one, but uh, big fan of Beyond Skyline along with the Skyline movie, and I've dug these, so I figured I'd give Portals a chance. Uh, Poison Sweethearts. Uh, Tempe's been putting out a few Blu-rays, a few horror movies every now and then, so I figured I'd give this another chance, sort of a ra uh, rape revenge maybe? I don't know. But that's it, and not it, but I'll be back with another to finish out the rest of this collection.